Hello and welcome to John's Author Diary for the week ending January the 21st, 2018. I've had a really busy week. I've been trying to get as much done as possible before I go off next week to do my guide dog training. I think I mentioned last week that I wanted to get to the end of the first draft of Black Death Volume 3. I'm not quite there, but I've written 20 scenes and it's ended up that some of those scenes were a bit longer than I thought. And I've also got to add about four more. And as the original outline was 20 scenes, I'm quite pleased with the progress of that. I'm really enjoying writing this story. I think the characters are really strong and the story is full of a lot of emotion and action. So I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to finish off this draft. It might be that I get time during the guide dog training to write some words, say in the evenings, because I'm going away for 10 straight days. So I'll probably have the evenings free to get some writing done. In other news, I have released the box set for my first trilogy. So the Wasteland series is now available as a single box set. This is a third cheap than buying the book separately and it's also available on Kindle Unlimited so if you want to immerse yourself in that world you can go and visit tinyurl.com slash the wasteland trilogy I'm still reading Brandon Sanderson's words of radiance I'd say I'm about a third of the way through as I've mentioned before this is about a 50 hour audiobook so I think I'm going to be on this one for a few more weeks I also read a really cool story this week by Hugh Howey called The Plagiarist and this is about a guy who goes into these very detailed virtual worlds in order to plagiarise their best literary talents. So he's essentially going into these randomly created universes and finding the Shakespeare's and people like that. So it's a really cool premise for a story and it's got a very satisfying ending. I've had a question this week. Helen asked, what's the biggest thing you've learnt as an author since starting? I think there's two answers to this. I think the first thing that authors need to do is to finish their project. I think I've got about three significant abandoned projects over the past few years and I wish that I'd finished them. But along with that, there's a lot to be said for letting go and not getting stuck in a project once it's done. So I think I mentioned before that I wrote a epic space opera that I wasn't ready for as an author. I didn't have the skill set to write it. I went in with no planning, no outline, and what I created was a mess. And I think I spent nearly two years messing around with this, tweaking it, redoing lines, rewriting it. And I think the best thing I did was to just walk away from it and know that it was time to leave it. So if you've got a question you want to ask, please email me. It's john at johncronshaw.com. That's J-O-N-C-R-O-N-S-H-A-W. You can also follow me on Twitter. It's at JL Cronshaw. And I'm on the Facebook, facebook facebook.com slash John Cronshaw author. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with the diary next week as I'm going to be away doing my guide dog training. There's a possibility that where I'm going won't have internet. And then the week after that, I've got a book conference in London. So the schedule for the next few weeks might be a bit iffy, but I'll see what I can do. I'll try my best. So until next time, cheerio. (laughs) 